Have you ever wanted to make stuff like this? This? Maybe even this? And this? Or maybe even this? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that. And the basics of making a Gorilla Tag render on Blender. So, alright. So, you might be asking, how do you get this, these cosmetics? And I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright. So, I, 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 I'm okay. So, you, what you want to do, you want to go on your browser and then search up model for Gorilla Tag Blender or something. And you should see this, alright? And when you see that, that's a good thing because you're going to need to get that down it like five times five times and then open that on blender also get blender on steam all right so now 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 i'm gonna show you how to get the cosmetics all right this is pretty easy so honestly this is about the easiest thing in this video so go to your browser okay once you're on your browser you want to search okay okay you want to search up Sketchfab, all right? You see all that? You see all that? Good, good. But you want to find Sketch Sketchfab, all right? Once you find that, you want to get whatever you want to get. So I'm gonna get a new one. Okay, so I finally figured out the one I want. I'm gonna get this one. Okay, so what you want to do? Press on Download 3D Model. And everyone like download the FBX. No, that is so hard to do. Instead, what you wanna do, you wanna download the GLB. That is very easy. That's the easiest one. Make sure it says texture size because that's the one that you're gonna need. As you can see, GLB right there. That's the one you're gonna wanna get. Okay, no FBX, just this one. But make sure it says texture size, all right? Because I never download it. Yeah, make sure it says texture size download that and then bang you're done so then go back into blender and now i'm gonna show you something else so what you're gonna want to do to get the cosmetics so here what you want to do you want to go to on the top corner you're gonna see file you want to go to that you, you want to press on that and then you're gonna see import all right don't press FBX, press GLB. All right, then you're gonna see this. Click on the one that you want. All right, when you got that, I'm going to load in my Wild West ones, okay? Bang, then I'm gonna press import. And then as you can see, bang. And you might be asking why they're all orange. That's because they're all equipped. And actually, I'm going to move those. All right, so now that I move those, let's get this hat right here so i'm gonna put that on my gorilla now this is the hard part you have to put it on your gorilla which is very hard to do you gotta line it up pretty much like perfectly so i'm gonna do this as you can see it's on the gorilla head but it's not that good well, you just kind of gotta get it right yeah that's kind of it okay after you have it where you want it so okay what so after you have that you have to make sure it's good and what i like to do i like to press render and then render image make sure there's a camera and the scene though or else it will not work so to edit the pose as you see as i just did i I clicked on the big circle around my monkey, okay? And then you wanna go to object mode, press on that, and then pose mode, okay? And then view, I meant no, yeah, view. So a lot of people are confused on how to do that. You see tool, toolbar, you wanna know how to like change the direction of your hand and stuff. You need to turn toolbar on. Okay, so go to view and then press on toolbar. Make sure that is on. And when you are done, you can also render your monkey like this. See? So, to add a camera, it's pretty simple. You go to add and then press on camera. Now, how do you change the name, you may ask? So, 
you have to be in object mode and then press on the name right click the name and then press keep remember this press on tab okay press on tab bang and then delete it so i'm gonna delete it and then type whatever you want whatever you want your name to be and also capitalize it make sure it's all capitalized or it won't look like the real tag name all right so then type in whatever you want and then bang you got that out the way and then press tab again to get out of it and then <coughs> press on the monkey and go to shading and this is how you change its color the primary color and also is what the color of the monkey is and to do all the other stuff like lava and by the way this is like the brightness of like the color and stuff so if i were to turn that up it'd be white and then if i turn it down it'd be black but i put it about right in the middle so it's gray which is my color code just so you know color codes do not exist in blender so you just kind of have to get the colors like best you can now you're asking how the face like how is the face like that that's called face expressions and i'll show you how to do that so first thing you want to do go back on your browser and then search up squishy on vr on youtube and then join his discord server and go to custom faces what you want to do all right remember this this is right quick this is left quick all right all right remember this remember this right left all right what you want to do you want to right click on any of the face whatever face you want bang this is gonna show up so all right remember right click that and then this is gonna show up you want to press on that and then left click it all right now when you do that press save image as and then bang so i'm just gonna pop up and you want to press save okay now after you do that open up blender once again okay now once you do that here comes like the easy part you open your files and then go to gallery and then you want to hold right click you want to hold right click and drag it right wherever you want and then bang let go of it and yes you can move this and okay yeah but how do you get on the face mask okay so since you have a starter monkey i'm gonna put the face text change to zero as you can see and then change the face so press on color or hold down color and then drag it to face texture boom now as you can see the monkey where's his face where's his face expression you want to delete all that on face texture put it to one to any any number any number and then enter it remember this is enter all right once you do that bang there's your face also when you have a camera on your scene go to render and then render image and then bang your image should, should turn out pretty good and then you could save that and even like send it to your phone depending on what you have mine don't work so i have to screenshot it from my phone sadly